how much should you pay influencers on Instagram? Let's go through it. I'm going to start by picking on our friend here, Alina, who's a beauty influencer. She works with us on our platform, Influencer, where we connect influencers up with brands. So I'd like to go through my own experience of working with Alina, which was a great experience. I'm going to tell you how much we paid her and how we think about our pricing with influencers. So we see a lot of deals going back and forth on a given day between brands and influencers. And I'd like to kind of share the going rates of what people are paying influencers per post and per reel today on Instagram as a platform. So let's take a step back here. As you can see, Alina has 111,000 followers. So she's got a nice following, focus on beauty and healthcare and skincare type products. So if we have a product in those interests, what are we looking at potentially paying Alina? Would we pay her $1,000 uh, for a post. If we wanted her to do a reel, would that be more? So the book value, quote unquote book value that we would expect from some research that we've done to pay Alina is going to say, and by the way, we publish this over on neilshafer.com. Neil Schaefer does digital and influencer marketing. So we did some research just kind of across the industry. And let me skim down here to where we have per follower. So again, this is book value, but it's saying $10 per post per 1,000 followers. Um, so we're going to pay, we would expect to pay about $100 per post for a 10,000 follower. And then if we add a zero onto there, we would pay expect to pay about $1,000 a post for 100,000 followers. Now, does that really scale up linearly or do we get price breaks as we go? Well, good news for you. We do get price breaks as we go up the chain. Back to my experience with Elena, she filmed an awesome reel for us here, which was very productive, very well received. As you can see here in the lower right, we got 11,000 likes on this particular reel, uh, many more views. So the reach of the reel that she did for us actually went above and beyond what her sort of quote unquote organic reach would be with her 111,000 followers. We actually achieved more scale with that than we would have expected. One of the tricks there is that we did a reel, which is getting premium placement from Instagram right now. So although it was a bit more effort for her to do a video than a post and it cost us a bit more, it was well worth it. Now, does that mean that we paid more than $1,000? No, actually, the good news is that we paid her $300 and Alina was happy um, to do the deal on that front. And that's what I'm finding on our own platform is that you can find influencers with 100,000 followers to do things for 300 um, or so dollars. And even a great reel like this one, I think is kind of a good baseline going rate. So again, about $300 for 100,000 followers. And again, this is going to get you a reel and not just a post. So if we look on the micro influencer front below 100,000, Jancy is another great influencer who we ourselves partnered with. Jancy doesn't quite have the reach that Alina does, but a very good reach of uh, 60,000 followers. When we worked with her, she was over the 50,000 mark, and we paid Jancy uh, $200 to put this reel together for us. And again, she kind of did all the work on it. I just gave her the guidelines that said, hey, we would love to uh, do a reel you know our platform, you know our products, so you can just kind of run with things. Uh, let me know what you come up with and uh, show us what uh, you know what you have, but I trust you, Jancy, just go ahead for it. So we paid her again, it was about $200, well, it was $200 for this reel. She had about 50,000 or so followers at the time, so that's a nice rule of thumb. Now, if you're looking to do things on a budget, even uh, lower than um, $200, I think that's very doable. I'm going to get back to this one in a minute. What I want to show you is a strategy for how you can say, hey, this is what I'm willing to post. Um, this is what I'm willing to pay because the price is going to be much more advantageous to you as a brand, to us as a brand, if we sort of post this as a listing and we call those collabs here at Affluencer. So what you want to do is post this opportunity as a collab and just put up front what you're looking for from your influencer and what you're willing to pay that influencer. So you can see over on the right side of this view here, I have my criteria. I'm looking for influencers in the United States and Canada. In my case, I do not have any interest 
uh, specifics, but if you have a beauty product and you want somebody like Elena, again, beauty, skincare, might make sense to check those boxes. If you have a healthcare product, might make sense to say health, fitness, wellness, travel product. Of course, we'd go with the travel category. So 50 different different interests, so lots of options there. Again, this is where we're specifying, do I have a channel preference? And then what is my minimum number of followers? So here I'm saying, I'm looking for 20,000 or more followers on Instagram. And this is these are followers that we're going to verify. And I'll show you how we do that in a moment with our tool. 20,000 or more is my requirement. And what we pay here in the lower right, I give them a range. And I say, we'll start at $75 and we'll go up to $300 per post or per reel. So that way, if someone comes in, maybe they're barely over the 20K mark, I may offer them $75 or $100. So again, remember, this is a better deal than you're seeing with the quoted industry research. So again, $10 per post. So you would think according to the quote unquote list price that I'm gonna be paying about $200 per post for 20,000 or more followers. That's the theory and practice it's better for us because you will see, you will be pleasantly surprised by the people who apply to this collapse. So not only will I have people with 20,000 or more followers, they'll be happy to accept 75 or $100 per post. But again, you'll see people with 100,000 followers apply. I'll offer them the maximum 300 like I did Elena, and they'll gladly take that opportunity. And then what I'll try to do is say, hey, can we get a reel instead of a post? Because we want things that are gonna go viral on Instagram. I want the reach, I want the 11,000 likes that we have here. So that's the method to the madness. I mentioned engagement rates and how we're going to verify these number of followers. So this is the nice thing about using a platform, using a tool like Affluencer that we have specifically dialed in for your search purposes. Because if we were left to our own devices and we were going out to Instagram, we would have to search hashtags. We would have to direct message somebody like Elena. We would have to hope that she messaged us back. And oh, by the way, if we ask her what her pricing is, of course she's going to quote us at the high end. Why would she not? So if we're reaching out directly on Instagram, we're going to get quotes that are on the high end. That's just natural. They're doing the right thing, are these influencers and creators. If you're asked what your time is worth, you're going to quote on the high end also, which is why we are curating and creating these collabs so that we've got opportunities for them to come to us and to say, hey, I'll do something for $75 a post. I'll do something for $300 a post. I'm in, even though it looks like I'm too expensive for you. Well, I'm in a slow time right now doing my creator work. So I maybe I've got 500,000 followers and I'll work for you for $300 a post or $300 a reel. So that's why we kind of want to flip things um, in our favor here. Now, We verify the number of followers by asking our influencers, as we did with Alina, to connect Instagram with Affluencer. And there we're able to get all of these cool insights where I can see her top 10 number of countries by followers. If I am shipping a US only product, I may only care about her US followers. So this is why we rank the top 10 countries and also show you the percentage. So we have brand users of ours who will use these metrics to say, well, I only care about your US users or I only care about US and Canada. I only care about UK. I only care about Australia or or give me Europe as a continent, so on and so forth. So this is what I'm doing. Um, This is what I'm willing to pay for. Um, So that's one thing. If you're only shipping to a certain area, this is valuable, these types of insights. So you can also determine what you're going to offer a specific person. The other thing we like to see is the engagement rate. What is an engagement rate? An engagement rate is the number of likes. It's the number of comments on a given post. In our experience, in industry experience, it is the best potential proxy for um, seeing what somebody is likely to sell. So let me go back uh, to Alina's metrics here. And these are on her most recent post. We can see that she's got a sky high 10% engagement rate, which is awesome. I believe this one may be a sponsored ad for the O'Shea, uh, which is actually very good lotion. You see it out there in the spas. The Argan oil is the big bottle that you see here. Well, Lena did a post for O'Shea. So I assume that this was a uh, gift opportunity And I assume they're also going to be very happy with the work that Alina did because 
she generated an 11% engagement rate on this post. So really nice reach here um, where you can see the number of impressions, the reach, and the clicks. Now, again, we're, where are we getting this data from? We're getting it directly from Instagram with our Instagram integration. So this is the way that we're able to see how these recent posts are doing. So again, a brand like O'Shea, what did they pay, Elena? Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they got a better deal than us, though, because they didn't get to watch this video yet. So I'm trying to get you uh, the best deal. And it's not about the individual negotiation so much as just, again, positioning your brand so that influencers are looking for you. It's all about that supply and demand where you tip it in your favor. Because, again, if an influencer has a spare window, a moment where, hey, they've got some opportunity to create some content, they like your product. And oh, by the way, they're looking for work. They're trying to make some money because this is what they do for a living. Well, that's where we want to have your collab up uh, front and center. So how do we create these collabs and how can you get one going? And how can you start connecting with some of these Instagram influencers on any budget? Well, what I recommend doing is creating a collab. And with us, you can do it for cheap or you can do it for free. So the way you do it is go over to affluencer.com slash register, and you'll be able to register your brand with us here. So you'll say, hey, I'm a brand. Go click the next button. It'll walk you through a few more steps. You'll be able to go ahead and register your brand. You can create a collab as I've done here. And this is kind of a checkbox where we go through and we define your criteria to say what you're looking for. And you can create different collabs for different opportunities. So for example, I have an opportunity for nano and micro influencers. And I go ahead and this is kind of the same content that you saw with my 20K plus when we were looking for our influencers with 20,000 or more followers. But what I'm doing here is I'm saying, hey, for a nano influencer, I'll pay $25 up to $100 for a micro-influencer, right? And I my follower requirement is more modest where I'm saying looking for 5,000 followers and above. So again, back to our pricing, 5,000 followers. I'm going to offer about $25 per the post. Again, this is cheaper than you see on the industry rates. This is cheaper than you see here, but it's a great deal and something that you can get going. So when brands come to us and say, hey, I got $500 to spend, Brett, what would you recommend? I say, no problem. Let's get 10 to 20 nano to micro influencers working for you, which means you can get 10 to 20 posts going for that $500 and we can get some traction. And then if someone is in and someone will do a great job for you, then we're going to focus. And we're going to work with those people more. So again, these are opportunities that we can do. Now you see this little view matches button here, but this is what's cool about this is now this will take me over to our directory. And now I can also invite influencers to join our program, but we're not going cold through Instagram. You're going through the Affluencer platform. And again, nice thing here is that these are all active users of our system. So they are used to getting invitations from brands that work with us, that host their collabs with us. So when they see these invites, they take it serious. But again, you're taken serious because you already have a specific collab post. So you're not just some sketchy person on the internet direct messaging them and saying, hey, it'd be great if we could work together. You've already got something posted. It's on a platform they use every day. They respect here at Affluencer and we get the collab and we get you positioned that way. So then the negotiations are pretty easy. We have a fit or we don't have a fit and then we get on with life. But our goal here is to kind of tip that, again, the supply and demand of the influencers in your direction so that you don't have to pay industry rates for influencers on Instagram, you can go ahead and you can get some good stuff going right here by having your collab posted with us. Uh, one more thing I want to show you, and this is our collab directory, and you get access to this when you do sign up with us. And this is a great thing that you can do. And you can look and see what other brands are doing on our Affluencer platform. Let me clear my filters here so I can kind of see everything. But as you can see what other brands are doing, what may be working, you can kind of scroll through. And whether uh, brands are in your industry or not, and many are, uh, of course, we were kind of all over the map here, but you'll get good ideas from what people are doing outside of your industry. You can go ahead and you can apply these and see what's working with their collab, um, so on and so forth. So those are my best practices. And that, that's my advice in, in terms of what you're going to be paying an influencer on Instagram. Again, we've got the list List rates of about ten dollars per post for per thousand followers, and in reality, you can do a better, uh, much better job than that. 
from your standpoint, from a budget standpoint, by posting that collab here on affluencer.com. So we've got a nice checklist to get going if you're ready. Again, you can get started for free if you would like. And the only cost is going to be your time. But again, about 10, 15 minutes to get this set up. And then it's going to save you a lot of time going forward because you're going to, we're going to automate a lot of that not only influencer and creator recruitment process for you, but also on the payment side, because you're going to define that once. And then wherever people fit in the spectrum that you have budgeted for your range is what you can offer up and we can get the content going and get all these partnerships going for you. So again, over at affluencer.com, post a collab. And that's the best way in my experience. And this is why we designed it, of course, to get you the best rates from influencers on Instagram.com. So go ahead, Afluencer. So again, it's like influencer with an A, A-F-L-U-E-N-C-E-R.com. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.